Accomplishing our tasks is easier nowadays thanks to computing, but because we're constantly bombarded with information that scientists call digital clutter, keeping our activities organized across all our devices is complicated. Professor Jacob E. Bardrum and a group of scientists from the Technical University of Denmark have been developing activity-centric computing systems, a concept that can be a solution to this problem. Join us to learn more about this project as we talk to Professor Bardrum in Copenhagen. Activity-centric computing is a concept that supports the idea that work in a computing environment should focus on what people would like to obtain, sort of the objective of what they would like to do, rather than focus on the materials and the files and so on. A really important part of being able to organize and making sure that we have all the different files locally as well as remote in sync is that the overhead of switching between tasks is minimized. Some of the examples, for instance, from Apple, where you can actually transfer things from your mobile device to your laptop, is parts of activity-centric computing. So, of course, we see bits of this concept in the commercial systems, but there's much more to it. Stuff on file management, application management, and so on and so forth. The idea is basically that we put some structure into this digital clutter. Activity-centric computing sort of makes, a, you might call a semantic layer on top of this digital clutter, which then links the different services with the different kinds of data, with the different kinds of users and the different kinds of devices together in certain configurations, where you can basically suspend what you're doing right now in an activity and you can easily switch to another activity. So the whole work of actually shifting between working on different uh, activities becomes much, much easier for the sort of human brain to handle all of this digital clutter. An activity is of course what you're doing, but we would at the same time also like to have the activity represented in the computer. And instead of spending a lot of time on sort of manual configuration and telling the phone to talk to the table and the table to talk to the laptop and so on and so forth, these devices would automatically get together and be coordinated because we're using the activity as sort of a binding block. A very example of this is when you change an activity, uh, the different applications and the files and the uh, desktop background and everything would just change and show the things that are relevant for a new activity. The purpose with this paper is to um, provide to the community, the research community as well as the practitioners, an overview of activity-centric computing so researchers could uh, continue working on these uh, ideas but also the practitioners that they can start incorporating some of this research into the technologies and applications that they're doing. Research is done by industrial researchers as well as academic researchers. We are working together. I've been visiting Microsoft Research and, and IBM Research many times. We're taking the ideas into the new computing environments. I think that the major problem or issue is whether it's going to be transferred from research into product development. Ideally, activity-centric computing should be uh, present in all layers of the computing stack. So the orchestration, you might call it, of different activities is something that cuts across the entire operating system. I think some of the cloud-based infrastructures has some basic uh, characteristics that actually would make it easier to implement activity-centric computing. There's definitely an increasing interest in this space and it's also interesting to see that it is migrating out in different technology uh, research areas. Find out more in Activity-Centric Computing Systems, a review article in the August 2019 communications of the ACM. <laughs>